Ali Also and Stanley Two Fine Mess Old Car Museum of Harlem, Georgia. This is our guest book, and we have many people from all over the world that come to visit us. The Ali Also and Stanley Two Fine Mess Mess, you see the mess, museum got started about uh, 2005. We moved here from Minnesota and uh, had a previous smaller shop than this, but there were all the tools that you see here are on wheels, and the wheels are uh, actually, so I can put the tools out wherever I want to use them. I build things out of wood, all kinds of things, every scale you can imagine. I just, the, the more scales that I can get involved in, the more fun I have. I just started out in 1953 making highway Pioneer cars. These were uh, cars that were uh, made by Ravel and you put them together. Of course mine didn't look like this when I made them at age 10. They looked a little scabby so after I got 65 years old I had about 12 of these cars and I restored them. This is my wood sculpture of a 1911 Stanley Steamer made out of bamboo. Uh, this is a 1908 Maxwell wood. I ran out of color so I decided to just to varnish this car. I like working with wood I guess and uh, I get full of sawdust but I don't get my hands all oily. Supplies come from Lowe's and I get a lot of recycled wood from various different uh, sources, uh, people that are throwing wood away. I can take plywood apart by soaking it in our pond and after four or five, six days it starts to lift and I'm able to take, take the plywood apart and then I can reform it by gluing it back together. My latest project is the General. The General is a Civil War uh, project. This is a 124 uh, scale model of the General that I received from a fellow in Canton, Ohio and was brought down by the Laurel and Hardy lookalikes uh, last year from uh, a fellow that thought I should have it seen how he was building the General and he took and uh, thought this would be a great place to have it and I wish I'd have had it before I started on the general I could have done a lot better detail. It uh, was uh, built by in Atlanta, Georgia by uh, the Western and Atlantic Railroad Association. They made several, not several, many 4-4-0's which were uh, a small gauge railroad originally and uh, then it, as time went by they made it standard after all of the railroads got connected together but prior to that the general was involved in the great locomotive chase of uh, 1861 thereabouts it, the Yankees stole the general from the uh, conf from the Confederate Army in in hopes that they could destroy the railroad by burning their bridges and burning their, uh, wrecking their railroad and slowing their uh, access to supplies down. They had a very good supply situation, the South did, and it, uh, it worked. It, uh, it really uh, raised havoc with the, uh, with the uh, Confederate Army. I've spent approximately three and a half years in planning and building the general to this point. It has to be stained and varnished yet. It's uh, pretty much finished as far as the locomotive goes. I have to put the tender together. The tender is, is 10 foot and that's pretty much the size of half of a car, I mean of a car. And this 10 foot tender is half scale as the general is half scale which is 26 feet long, including the tender. 
I use a lot of wood, a lot of glue, a lot of bolts. Uh, I use plexiglass, um, fiberglass, shellac, um, paint and varnish, of course. Um, I can't sleep at night. Um, my uh, my uh, I'm building things, trying to sleep. I'm building things in my sleep. That's where I get a lot of my energy and uh, a lot of decision making, problem solving, and no sleep. I mainly work from pictures. These are are actual pictures of the general right here, and the real general is at Kennesaw, Georgia. And uh, it, uh, this is what it look. This is the color scheme of it right here. But I'll be staining it in uh, color, so it'll be black, and the inside of the cab is green and uh, red. A lot of red trim and brass. A lot of brass coloring on it. And this particular, this particular engine has uh, uh, fenders, which is not rare, but there wasn't. Too many of them that have fenders. This is something I got from the uh, the uh, um, from Kennesaw, Georgia, where the general resides, and uh, this was a full scale blueprint. But not all of the the uh, sizes of everything were on here, so I had to change some of the sizes and then go to half scale, and so. And this is some of my, my drawings that I, I do to, like I just made this a couple days ago. This is the seat that uh, the engineer and the fireman sit in. And uh, so what I do is take, take and, and fine scale the, uh, what I need to make and uh, draw a little picture of it. So I, and then after I complete the picture, well, I no longer need all of the pictures. <laughs> But it just goes notes after notes like this, just to figure out what I've got to do to make the parts. I made the the uh, general in half scale with all working parts, and it's all made out of wood. I taken got I got wood from many different sources. The my main source of, of wood was from people that wanted to get rid of it, and what I did was took old paneling that was probably back in the 50s was able to soak it in their pond and take it apart. It comes apart after it's been sitting for a while, just down to a 32nd of an inch in uh, width, and I can reform it by building a frame and then re-gluing it onto the frame. The cab is going to have plexiglass windows in it, and all the doors and everything open on it. I just finished the seats that Stan will sit on. This is the seat that you'll sit on, and this is part of it, and this is the back. The general is all made up in sections, and I've got it all bolted together, And uh, but it's very, this shows how it all goes together. It's all just slapped together, kind of like, put together in sections. This I haven't put the bolts in it yet, so, but it all comes apart, and then I'll be building the tender for it, which I've got a lot of the parts made yet, or made for it already, but they, it, the tender has to be uh, about 10 foot long, and when, when, I, when I complete the tender, the whole engine will be, engine with the tender will be 26 feet long at half scale. The other section of tracks is up above, which the tender sits on. It won't be up there, of course, that's my tracks to the heavens. And these are, this is the uh, supposedly the uh, dimensions, there's a 22 inch span on this truck. And this is, there's two of these trucks, so there's eight wheels on the tender. And, uh, but, and, and the supports are on the outside, that the oiler box and everything. Feel nice and quiet, that runs. <laughs> several things on the uh, engine that have 
our great interest. There's the sand dome and the, the bell, which was very uh, recognizable hearing it coming down the tracks and the front end of the train made a lot of noise would scare animals away. Uh, the first thing I made, of course, was that uh, I figured it would be the roughest thing to make out of wood was the uh, cow catcher. I'm going back to the cow catcher right now, but the cow catcher has made so many angles on it to make it appear like the pictures appear, and that's what I made this whole train out of as pictures. This here is part of very important part of a steam locomotive. It can either get it going or it can stop it. And if they don't have it, it could go off the uh, off the bridge. But uh, this is called a sand dome, and uh, the engineer needed a little traction because he's working on a bearing surface here. The the cast iron wheels on a steel track becomes uh, a bearing surface and in order to get the traction needed to get the train going he'd sprinkle a little sand on, uh, from the sand dome and that would give the, the uh, some traction to the drive wheels. This is the steam dome and the steam dome gave it uh, an extra boost that got heated up first. That's where their whistles their whistle would be on there. Here's the bell. A very often good symbol of a steam locomotive. You hear that coming and you know you got a steam locomotive coming down the track. This is some of the um, uh, linkage to, to drive the uh, throw, <laughs> the uh, drive wheels, the front truck, and the springs that make it look like they're they're sitting on springs, but all that's just made look like it's something. It's not really really anything. These are fenders that will eventually be on the front wheels, and one of the uh, you can see how they're made out of uh, plywood that's been taken apart and re-glued back on. It gets it gets very strong. Flues. These are uh, 130 flues at half scale, one inch. At full scale, they'd be two inches, and they go back uh, full scale, 11 feet. Half scale, five and a half feet. And that, and if I don't know, I don't have the fire going in there right now. But I wonder if that'll pick up in there. Let's see. Let's start the fire. The fire had to be kept going. There, you can see the burner. You can see it burning now. Had to keep a small uh, fire going in order to uh, keep the boiler warm because it takes two hours to get a full head of steam. I could almost hear the ch 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 That's why it takes me so long to build it. Plus I sit here and talk to myself too.